Hello everyone, it's Aster, bringing you another haul review thing. So this is the Rainbowholic Patreon physical reward uh, for the Rainbow in Twilight Character $60 tier. That is a mouthful. And... Before I really get into it, I did a bunch of these opening things and reviews, and in my original video, which should have been the October 2021, you, um, I'm uploading these all as, all within a day or two of each other, so don't go back into the October 20. 20 uploads, uh, they'll be, these will all kind of come out at the same time. I'm just saying, look for the October 2021 title. Anyways, that one ha goes into more detail about everything that Rainbow Holland is and stuff and my thoughts, but a quick rundown. Rainbow Holland is a bullet journalist, content creator on Instagram, and... YouTube and all that stuff. And they and she has a Patreon where you can subscribe to, you know, support her um, if you really like her stuff. And I really like her stuff, but I I'm not happy with her $60 tier because I don't think you get your money's worth. You do get physical in digital items, but I don't see a lot of mm, value in the digital items because you don't get a lot. You literally do not get a lot of digital items. Overall, yes, you get like months and months and months, a huge backlog of digital items, but per month you don't get a lot. You get like five digital items. It's the, it's not that much. There's not much value to that, basically. And what she does send out as physical rewards, it's like Daiso stuff. There's a few things that are exclusive. You know, um, she teams up with other artists and makes something collaboration stickers and washi tapes and stuff. Those are worth more because they're exclusive to Rainbow Holic and all this stuff, but most of, I'd say 90% or more, of these physical rewards are from Daiso. So, yeah, there's not a lot of value <laughs> for your money. So, what, what it comes down to is if you got money to burn and you like this stuff, go ahead and support. Rainbowholic. I personally don't see the value in this stuff, and I really think I didn't get my money's worth this whole time I've been supporting them. And I'm unhappy, so I don't recommend supporting Rainbowholic. Alright, now that's out of the way. Uh, these two kind of came on their own, like, separate, separated from all of the other packages. Uh, it was in one bundle, but this was, like, outside of these little envelopes and stuff. So I don't know where these, what month these things go to. So I'll just slip these out. Uh, there's a bunch of rainbow holic things. Just saying, like, thank you for supporting us. Blah blah blah. A cat ninja exercise memo. Another sort of exercise memo. memo. Uh, four leaf clover memo sticky sheet, and underneath there's like school lunch or something. Cupcake. Hedgehog cupcake and hamster 
eating some donuts. There's also some clear seal stickers, uh, which are like December themed. So I don't know if they're January or December, but snowflakes, penguins, polar bears, that sort of thing. Now, uh, this would be the toy character envelope. And this looks like it's Shiba Inu and cats. So maybe just cute animals. I don't know. But she has five washi swatches. I like the cat, like samurai and ninjas and stuff. So what is it? it does open this? All these things. Oh, I say all. <laughs> There's not that much. That's part of the reason I'm like. I could see if if he gave me like, you know. Well, it'd be thirty dollars worth of items in each little package of Daiso stuff. I could see, yeah, sure. Then there's value. But the amount of stuff that they give you is just not enough. We have a Carol Capic Royal Apple Tea. Cute little packaging. Um, some sort of hard candy apple flavor. Two washi tape. Some Shiba Inu ripping through journal paper. And then a collaboration between Rainbow Holic and Penguins Creative. It's a Sakura themed washi tape with Sakura mochi, Sakura blossoms, and all sorts of things like that. And we've got some memo, well, under this uh, is the memo sheets, but this is like the artist's that are being featured in this month's pack. Um, Hoki Ho Hoyuki Boshi. They are an illustrator. This is their information. They're on Instagram and YouTube. Milk berry kawaii style stickers. I like their little character there. Reminds me of Isabel from Animal Crossing. April Wu. Okay, so now we get into some of the memos. Uh, we have Rainbow Holic as like a cartoon character or animated character. Uh, Samurai Lord Shiba Inu. Two doggos. Don't know if these are Shiba Inu or just dog, other dog sort of breeds. I'm not quite sure. And I don't know if all of these uh, dogs are Shiba Inu. I, I think they are. I'm not entirely sure. So we got some more sticky note sort of things. Butts and stuff. There's one. Oh. Natural Shiba Inu. And she would in you in front of a castle. And this one, it's one of those 3D ones where you put that little tab into, there's a like slot you can barely make it out. And it's supposed to create a 3D rolled up like scene. 
I got some in an Indu crate before. And we got some Mind Wave seals of Japanese items and Shiba Inus. Uh, three sheets of origami paper, pretty Japanese design, one-sided, another floral pattern, S Easter bunny type design with blood farts and stuff, not really sure about that one. We have the uh, collaboration between Milkberry and Rainbow Holic with Milkberry's character and Sakura stuff. Uh, her character really does remind me of Isabel. So I guess this could work in like an Animal Crossing sort of thing, especially since we just got over the Sakura Blossoms uh, in Animal Crossing if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. So this stuff is going to be the rainbow tier, so it's not kawaii character. Uh, five washi tape swatches again. Uh, these ones are foiled, so there's some silver and gold foil. Holographic one. Very Sakura heavy theme. I like sakura blossoms, so. I'm okay with this theme, <laughs> because I like this theme. these things are called, but I've gotten them before. They're Tayaki things? I think they're in Japan. They're um, like a pancake or waffle batter uh, and inside can be like fillings like chocolate and stuff like that, but uh, chocolate and custard. Uh, there's ice cream ones, but the original flavor is supposed to be like red bean paste, I believe. And I've gotten this exact same one um, at H Mart. So it also feels like this one didn't survive the transit. <laughs> I think it broke apart. Uh, we have some washi tape that's gold foil and Sakura themes from BGM. Very pretty. Some more memo sheets. I have this exact memo sheet because it was from Daiso, so she only gives you one and you can buy like a 30 pack for a dollar fifty. So this is why I'm like I only get one of these. And I have access to buy some of these things, so it's like really where is the value? Two Sakura memo sheet. Uh, some Sakura series fabric um, stickers with gold foil. They're uh, textured. They're like raised up. So, and then two sticky little notes. Some more origami paper. I probably got all of these from Daiso <laughs> already. All so uh, soccer things, which is nice. They're, I mean, I, I'm i fine with the patterns. They're super pretty, like these ones. These are really, really pretty, but you only get like four. So it's like, mm. And then finally, we got a Japan Post postcard, uh, spring themed. 
So we got birds and sample blossoms. And that is it. So you don't really get a lot of free money. That's kind of what I'm trying to really drive home is I don't see the value in it. Somebody else might see the value. Maybe people who don't have a Daiso or don't really have access to Japanese stationery, which if you don't, there's a few ways you can go about getting it. There's um, other people like on Instagram, other artists and stuff that they sell that sort of thing. There's Etsy sellers that kind of do the same sort of thing. eBay, uh, Amazon Japan is a choice. You can go through a third party um, buyer who will ship you a bunch of stuff. I have yet to do that. Um, but there's all sorts of different ways you can get Japanese stationery without having to buy this. Um, so yeah. <laughs> You can totally get these things other ways, so I'm just, mm. except for the really exclusive stuff like the uh, washi tape and the stickers, which I believe only come in the higher price tiers. The lower price tiers are like digital stuff only. Um, I think there's a $15 tier which gets you a postcard, but that's it. I think the lowest really physical item reward tier is $30. It might have gone up because of shipping fees and stuff, so it might be $40 now. But yeah, that is it. Um, like I said, this is all I have as, because they sent me a huge bundle of multiple months rewards, so I don't have any more. So I'll upload all of these, see what kind of comments people are making. Um, hopefully I don't have any supporters of Rainbow Holic on here because I'm not really being nice. I, I'm trying, I'm not trying to be overly mean. I'm actually trying to be honest because that's what I want people to do when they review things is give me your honest opinion. And this is my honest opinion. I have nothing wrong about, I don't have any hard feelings towards Rainbow Holic for any purpose. I actually really like her bullet journaling. I think it's very soothing, ASMR-ish. I like watching her videos. I do like supporting her, but I just, I don't see the value in the things that I'm getting. So that's why I'm trying to warn people. She almost makes it look like you get more than you really do, but you have to remember, she only gives you a few slips of things. Like she says, you'll get memo sheets and stuff, and she literally means sheets. She does not mean a memo pad. So, I don't know. She could be a little bit more open and show you exactly what you're getting, but whatever. But uh, yeah, just trying to do my honest opinion, not trying to bash Rainbowholic at all. So, uh, hopefully you liked it and this was informative. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.